boys and girls, today we are going to do a fun activity where we're using lots of elements of art. We're going to use line, colour, shape and texture. We're going to be doing a fun spring bunny rabbit or a fox, you can choose which one. We'll be following a directed drawing to make that and we'll be adding some texture for his fur. We'll be adding some lines with colour and we'll be using shapes to draw our animals. So for this lesson today you're going to need paper, you will need a ruler, eraser, a pencil, a sharpie and then some markers or crayons for the background. Okay so I'm going to show you first of all how to draw the rabbit. Um, I will add a step by step for you to look at on your Google Classroom, which is from Art Projects for Kids, if you want to go back and look at that. But I'm going to show you the steps now also. For the fox, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step to look at as well, but I'm also going to show you how to draw it right now. So we'll start with the rabbit. You will need your paper portrait in front of you, and you will need, first of all, your ruler. We're going to divide our paper into four sections or four quadrants that are just to help us draw. So I'm going to measure across. My paper is nine. I'm going to put a little dot at the four and a half and I'm going to draw a line very lightly because I'm erasing it later. And then I'm going to measure across my paper this is 12, a little dot at the 6, and I will make a line there. It has to be fairly accurate, but don't worry if it's off a little bit. Okay, so now we have our paper divided into our four sections that will help us to draw. We're going to start off by making the rabbit's face or the snout at the bottom here. So you're going to come down a little bit from your midline and you're drawing on this middle line. You're going to be drawing a circle or oval shape about the size of your fist. So, little circle. Then on the sides near the bottom, we're going to be drawing a curved line that goes up to the midline. So I'm going to come out and I'm going to curve in a little bit out on this side and curve in. I'm going to try and get it the same if I can. I'll try my best. Now I'm going to make the head of the rabbit. It's going to be a curved line that's going to start here, the line I just made, and it's going to curve up to the top and then curve down on the other side. In the two top quadrants, I left lots of room for the rabbit's big ears, and I'm going to draw a big ear on this side and a big ear on this side. Now, from the outside of my ears, not the inside line, the outside line, I'm going to draw a curved line all the way down to the nose part again. And stop. And on the outside again and stop. In these two little sections we have I'm going to draw little ovals for the eyes, the kind of long ovals and I'm going to come back down to my circle I'm going to make a little U for his nose and a little line and a little mouth. The last thing I'm going to do is draw his body from here. I'm going to make a line out and then a line out to the bottom. Now, before we do anything else, we are going to trace everything in Sharpie before we add the texture.
marks with his eyes. I'm just coloring them in with my Sharpie and I'm leaving a little bit of white. Before I add the texture, I'm going to erase my pencil lines. I did some guidelines. So these are the, the texture lines that are just little sharpie vertical lines going down. But to help me get them spaced out, I added these little curved lines on my rabbit, first of all, with pencil. You can give this a try if you like. If not, you can just put your texture lines on. I did curved lines going out. And then also on the ears. And then on the body. And the last part is on the nose. I'm going to show you that part last because they're going to go in a different direction. So for the texture lines, they're just little horizontal lines going down. And they don't have to all be exactly the same. And you're going to kind of follow the curve of your pencil line. Okay, so the last part we're going to do the rabbit's nose. We're just going to do little lines going down and then we're going to do some going out of the way. And I'm just going to continue going round my circle with the lines going out of the way. Okay, so now we're almost ready to add the background. Very quickly, I'm going to erase my guidelines. For the background, we're going to be doing a repeating pattern. My repeating pattern here is a zigzag line, a dotted line, a straight line, a wavy line. And then I repeat zigzag, dotted, straight, wavy, zigzag, dotted, straight, wavy, and back to zigzag. You can choose two or three, even four different lines for your pattern. And then you just keep repeating them. So I'm going to start with a wavy line and then a dotted line and a zigzag
and then I'm coming back to my wavy line again. So I would continue to go all the way down my page until I get to the end. until you have filled up your whole page. Okay, now we're gonna do the fox. So, just like we did with the rabbit, we need to divide our paper into our four quadrants, so. A light line. And a line across. And we're gonna follow our step by step to make our fox. So for the fox, you're gonna come down from the middle line a little bit higher than halfway. So this is halfway and I'm gonna jump up a little bit and I'm gonna make a little semi-circle kind of shape for his nose. Okay, then I'm gonna come up to the midlines here and I'm gonna come in maybe two finger spaces, two finger space, make a little mark, and I'm gonna make a zigzag line, just three zigs. So one, two, three. And then from the end of there, I'm gonna be joining it like halfway on his nose. So curved line, to his nose, curved line to his nose. Now I'm gonna make the top of the fox's head. So I'm gonna come up on the midline, right above the nose, again, halfway and come down a little bit and make a dot. I'm gonna make a curved line up to that dot and a curved line down to the other side because I wanted to leave room for his big ears. The fox has got kind of pointy ears, so kind of like a big triangle that's curved. And then on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to add a part for his nose. So from the outside of the ears, I'm going to draw a line down right to the outside of the nose. And stop and stop. I'm going to add his eyes right here on the lines, right outside this curved line I just made. Again, they're little ovals that point out the way or on the diagonal. The last thing I'm going to do is his body. So I'm going to come down below the eye and then make a curved line to the bottom and a curved line to the bottom. So just like you did with the rabbit, you're gonna trace him in Sharpie. Okay, and before we do the texture, again, we're going to erase our lines. So raise your drawing lines. Okay, once you've erased your lines, we're gonna add our texture. And then similar to how I did with the rabbit, you're gonna use some guidelines with your pencil. You can make little curved lines that will help you to space out your texture lines. And for this one, I'm gonna follow this curved line. Okay, and then for his body, like he's wearing a little t-shirt again. And you're gonna add the texture just the same way you did with rabbit. Little lines. Okay. 
following your curved line around. Okay. And for these lines, you're going to be going on the line this way. Okay, the last thing you're going to do is the texture in his ears, and you can just follow the line of the ears around. Okay, before you add the background, don't forget to erase your guidelines. Then the same with the rabbit, you will add your background with repeating lines. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed that and I can't wait to see your rabbits or foxes.